defense. They averaged 23 points per game last season. Hardison from his own end zone, lofts it downfield, and it's caught by Jacob Cowing. Steps up in the pocket, he throws that ball nice and deep. You get be he gets behind you at a safety, that should never happen. Every single starter and offense back this year for the Miners, and that is a one-handed, wow. fantastic snag. Aggies have good defense covers. They just got to go make a play on it now. But let's mm. look at that. Oh, man, he tipped it to himself. That's something right there. And um, he said, you know, there's one guy that we really have to make sure we know where he is at all times. Where Joshua Ferguson is now backpedaling back to his linebacker position. Artisan will throw, caught, flag comes in, Cowling receives it. Catch and run of 14 for Garrett. Artisan will pull it and throw it, Cowling makes a man miss. He will dart inside the 20 and he has a touchdown. And by doing that, it allowed him to go back to the sidelines right there, throws a little move to the inside, he takes, he bites that move and it leaves the outside. He's got great speed and no one's gonna catch him. Coming across the middle, hit him right in the hands, he's got to make that play. So now instead of second and eight, it's second and 20, but they go right back over the middle and the pass is caught. Tyron Smith, the motion man. Hardison drops back, throws one into the corner for Cowing, and he makes the catch for the touchdown. This one a diving catch for a touchdown to extend UTEP's lead to another two possession lead here in the fourth quarter. That puts a lot of pressure on these Wildcats. Cowing had five catches for 158 yards, a career high last week. On the 48-yard line, Hardison completes to Jacob Cowing, slips a couple tackles, has blockers with him. Still on his feet, he's in the end zone. Jacob Cowing. Flores does a good job hanging in there and trying to pick up. Boise brought extra guys, but None of them got home or really even threatened Hardison, and he was able to get it to the fastest player on the team. And right back to work after throwing the interception. Has time, and completes over the middle. Cowing again. UTEP gets a bit of a break, see what they can do with it. They're looking deep, Hardison looking for Cowing over the middle, and Cowing makes the catch inside the 40-yard line. But not close enough to impact this game. We'll see if this rain picks up at all. Hardison taking a deep shot and wide open, caught for the touchdown. It is Jacob Cowing. Hardison changes the play. That was Cowing in motion. It's Cowing who took it on a reverse. Are you kidding me? He's loose. Jacob Cowing doesn't lose foot races. A touchdown on the reverse. And UTEP's defense wins that one. On first down, they hit one over the middle to Jacob Cowing. Hardison throws a deep one off his back foot, and it's caught. Hardison from his own goal line taking a deep shot, and Cowing is open. Cuts it back, up across the 40, now has a blocker. Cowing across midfield, inside the 40, before he's finally dragged down. Hardison throws, man makes the catch down the seam. That's Cowing. Gavin Hardison, only four completions in the first half, but he's on target here on his first throw to Cowan. Had not had a defensive touchdown since week 10 of 2017. Here's the deep ball for UTEP, and it connects over to the top. Jacob Cowling, the sophomore. Hardison steps up, has Cowing open, and that one caught. Program really goes by these days, honoring what was a fantastic legacy of the UTEP tight end. Now, from their own one yard line, how about the long throw and the completion? But that was a heave and a great catch by Cowing to come down and. He does, he looks that way immediately. Lofts it to a wide open Jacob Cowing. Stays on the sideline inside the five. They've been hurting themselves. There's been penalties that have held them back. There's been missed throws when they've been open. And look right here, Jacob Cowing. Makes a man miss, and he's up near midfield. Cowing comes in motion, so it's three receivers to the top. And Cowing makes the catch over the middle and is in for the score. Went down the field 75 yards and scored on their opening drive. And on first down, right back to Jacob Cowing, trying to make a couple man miss, and he gets up near midfield. It'll be second and one, and UTEP is already in Rice territory. 
Hardison taking the shot to Cowing, and Cowing makes the catch inside the 20. And it gives UTEP a chance here with just under a minute to play in all three timeouts. And the pass is caught by Cowing, makes the first man miss. Spins his way across the 40, up near the 45-yard line. And Miners 14 of 20 on the year, 70% on fourth down. Trying to make it 15 of 21. Going to the air, and the pass is snagged out of the air by Jacob Cowing. That was not an easy catch. Well, that was a great catch. It wasn't the best place ball. I know it was put in the only position that Cowing was going to be able to make that catch. Just over 11 minutes left in this one. Hardison, a straight drop back again, taking another deep shot. This time to Cowing, and he's open. They have a star linebacker over the far side. Is it caught and complete? Oh, wow. Hardison steps into that throw, delivers it. Ooh. Hard to see there. Looks like he did go down. Oh, that ball popped up and then landed in his stomach. Hardison, there's some pressure coming. A pump fake, and then he throws. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, and what a grab by Jacob Cowing. Starts out to his left, comes back to the right, steps up, throws it as he's falling to his right. And then Cowing's underneath the defender, jumps up, makes the catch. Hardison fakes the handoff, sets his feet, throws on the money.